to the Attorney General's office, government is faced with grim task of settling a judgment debt of 950,000 awarded against the states. That's jumped to over 14 trillion Ghana cities. So this morning, lawyers of African Automobile say they constrained with how to execute the court's judgment due to the massive amount the state is expected to pay. At the State of the Nation address, President Ekofuado mentioned the AG saved the country from paying over 10 trillion Ghana cities in judgment debts. Now, Attorney General Godfrey Yabuadame, while confirming that his office saved Ghana from paying 10 trillion Ghana cities in judgment debt, cited the misuse of compound interest by public officers to inflict unnecessary financial hardship on the state. His office subsequently petitioned Parliament to amend the Contract Act to halt the trend. He spoke to my colleague Kujo Yang Singh. Prepared to get Parliament to enact a law which seeks to amend the contract act by which the payment of compound interest is prohibited against the government of Ghana. Because before I assumed the reins as a tangera, indeed, I observed a trend for various public officers to the process of compound interest actually inflict unnecessary judgment debts against the government of Ghana. So you remember the case of NDK, NDK against the Atenjura, yes. which I again applied to the Supreme Court for another stating that the sum of 79 million Ghana is paid by the government of Ghana was sufficient and therefore should be declared as full and final payment. And the government was relieved from the obligation of paying the sum of 1.27 billion Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. If you remember, the sum in question was a paltry 268 Ghana thousand Ghana cities, 268,000 Ghana cities. That was the original the amount original awarded, sum right. In 2009, or 268,000 Ghana cities. But by the process of computation of compound interest, the sum <laughs> increased to 1.3 billion Ghana cities. And after an amount of 79 million Ghana cities had been mm -hmm. paid by the government of Ghana, NDK was still pursuing government of Ghana for payment of 1.27 billion Ghana cities. And I made the application to the Supreme Court that on grounds of equity and what have you, um, the, the sum paid by the government of Ghana should be awarded as, should, or should be heard by the court as having fully satisfied the judgment date. And that's what actually led me, motivated me to lay before Parliament the criminal, the, the contract amendment act. So the process of judgment date for me had become a conduit for milking the state, had become a conduit for necessarily inflicting financial hardships on the state. And some people had more or less permitted it to be an enterprise. Mm -hmm. And we saw various judgments of the Supreme Court um, between 2012 and 2016 reflecting such a tendency. Well, in response to a right information request filed by joinees, the Ministry of Finance disclosed startling figures regarding judgment debt payments made by government between 2017 and 2022. The documents reveal payments made to over 70 individuals and entities, indicating a wide distribution of funds among various recipients. Among the notable beneficiaries are companies including NDK, Financial Services, Vacuum Salt Products, Balkan Energy and several others. Let me share with you details of these payments coming up shortly on your screens. So if you look at the total payment made between 2017 to 2022, it stands at 300.38 million Ghana cities. That's the total payment we've made. And this is the breakdown. In 2017, we made 10 payments, uh, uh, judgment debt payments to uh, various companies, which amounted to 111 million, 111.24 uh, million Ghana cities. In 2018, we made payment uh, 12 payments uh, in terms of judgment debt, which amounted to 153 Point zero nine million cities, and in 2019 we've made uh, judgment debt payments uh, numbering 11, which amounted to 13.96 million. In 2020, uh, it, the number went up to uh, 15. Uh, that's the number of payments we made, and it stands at 18.91 million. And then in 2021, we made uh, two, 2022 four. And uh, that amount is there for you, uh, which is uh, for 2022, we made 2.8 million, whereas in 2021, we made 357 
uh, million cities. And total legal fees and refunds related to judgment debt it stands at 4.94 million cities. And then that's the breakdown. In 2017, it was 2.6 million that was released. In 2017, 2.6 million or, uh, released. Okay, so that's the breakdown for you in terms of legal fees and refunds uh, related to Ghana's judgment debt.